Well, police in New Jersey clearly don't want to, but they're being forced to harass people working out in the gym, handcuff them, threaten them with jail. Far less attention has been paid to the people who've actually died from the coronavirus because they're vulnerable. Government has done so little to protect them, even as it prevents you from playing doubles tennis or swimming. In Pennsylvania and New York, possibly in other states, nursing homes were told they were required to admit patients infected with the coronavirus. Outbreaks inevitably resulted. Thousands died. Leaders didn't care. In Pennsylvania, in perhaps the most shocking and offensive example of all, illustrating just how little government cares about you, the health commissioner of the Commonwealth, Rachel Levine, moved her own mother out of a nursing home before she could fall victim to the resulting death trap. Doug Mastriano is a Pennsylvania state senator. He watched this with his jaw open. He joins us tonight. Thanks so much, Mr. Mastriano, for coming on. I, 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 as many Thank times you, as Dr. we tell this story, it's hard to believe that it's true that your state health director moved her own mother out of a nursing home and then forced nursing homes to admit infected patients. But that's true, is it not? It is, and you can't make this stuff up. So last Monday, I called for Levine's resignation. Yeah. And then the next day, we find out that the secretary did these shenanigans with uh, the secretary's own mom, evacuating mom to a safe, secure location at a lodge, a deluxe suite. And so what about the rest of the uh, parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles? And this sort of thing, you just never imagine is going to happen in America, especially Pennsylvania, the birthplace of independence and freedom. But it did, and action needs to be taken. It, this is like a bad movie. Every day we wake up and it's still being played on a B-roll. And I feel like the Keystone cops are running the Keystone State. God help us. That's for sure. And God help the people trapped in nursing homes. They can't have their loved ones visit them. They're alone. Many are dying. I don't hear our leaders talk about them at all. We saw Andrew Cuomo saying, every life is precious. And then he forced infected patients into nursing homes. Thousands died. And he's telling us, well, people die. It's like, does anyone care? It doesn't seem like that. And the sad thing is that they actually right, rightly predicted this. A lot of things that got wrong in the modeling and what have you and how catastrophic it was going to be. But we heard over and over again from Governor Wolf and Secretary Levine that the most vulnerable would be the elderly and those with health conditions. And indeed, that was exactly it. But then why yes. on 18 March would our Secretary of Health issue this memorandum directing the homes to take COVID positive patients back to free up hospital beds? I mean, it's utter madness. And two thirds of the deaths in Pennsylvania are coming out of this. And there needs to be accountability. Tell me that Democrats in the state legislature aren't defending your health director, Levine. They are. And, you know, I retired from the Army two years ago, and maybe I'm off my rocker, but I thought at some point we'd come together and agree when there's a sheer incompetence. Yeah. And the secretary has been delivering nothing but medical malpractice here. And this is something we definitely can come together on. But instead, they're circling the wagons here and defending this administration, and it's utter madness. Has Levine apologized for moving her own mother out? of a nursing home and then dooming the, the people stuck there to death? So obviously, Levine knew that the, the, uh, the secretary was going to be asked this question on last Tuesday, had to prepare a statement. It was absolutely absurd, ridiculous. It was, it was, it was, you can't make this stuff up. No apology. You know, it would have been one thing, Tucker, if the secretary came out two months ago and said, look, I'm not sure that we can safeguard your family members, your loved ones, so maybe if you right. can, take them out of the homes for a couple months, but instead, special treatment. Exactly. It would be like liquidating your stock portfolio and telling the country everything was going to be fine. We saw that, yes. too. It tells you they don't care at all about you. Uh, thanks so much for joining us tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Tucker. Well, speaking of the dangers in nursing homes, Amy Glenn, who is the widow of astronaut and former senator from Ohio, John Glenn, died today of the coronavirus at a nursing home in St. Paul, Minnesota. She was 100 years old. Annie and John Glenn were married an astonishing 73 years. Quite a life.